And what is up guys, Technicals Tinkers here. Got a lot of updates going on today in the 3D print space. So nothing going on on the big machines right now, but I do have this, a Bamboo A1. So I've got four Anycubic Cobra 2 Maxes, one Bamboo P1P that I just put the voxel enclosure on to make it kind of like a P1S. Check my other video there. But I decided to get this A1 with the AMS light unit because again, I'm trying to, if you're new to the channel, I am a business owner. I run a business, a retail business, and I have multiple locations and I have a warehouse where we keep, you know, stock of things, do administrative. But we have a lot of extra room in there and I've been looking into this 3D print thing, thinking that I can probably do that because I think a big barrier for a lot of people that want to do 3D printing and scale it up is those overheads, like getting a space to do it paying employees, rent, electricity, lease, you know, all these different things, all these overheads uh, can be, you know, kind of like a big barrier that keep a lot of people from doing it at scale. So I already have that and I'm already paying for it. So I might, I was thinking like, well, I could scale it up. So I've been looking at machines as to, based on what I think I might be printing and versus getting like P1Ps and P1Ss and things like that. The A1 has the same size build plate. Now, if Bamboo releases a larger format printer, you can best believe I'm going to be all over that. But I got the A1 with the AMS, AMS light because, you know, all said, this is like 600 bucks for this whole shebang. And uh, so I figured I'd get it in. It's more of like an exploratory test kind of thing. And I got some cool filaments here. This is uh, Overture Silk PLA in copper. And then this is Polymaker uh, Polylite uh, in a brass. Because I got those two colors specifically because I wanted to make bullets. <laughs> so this is a 45 ACP. I didn't do it as big as I could, and I did it all in one model, so it's joined together, but very nice. I mean, this is just bas basically stock settings, um, 0.25 layer height, so I could get finer on this, but very shiny, very impressed with the, especially the silk on that copper. I mean, the could probably do some variable layer height on top to kind of clean it up, but overall, very nice looking piece. No supports or anything like that, and hand for scale. You know, it's nice bullet. And it would go great in, well, not the Glock, but maybe the 1911. We could do some nine millimeters uh, for, the, for the Glock, but very cool nonetheless. Recently, increasing our presence with Pet G, doing more experiments there. So I was having uh, kind of some issues with the Pet G, doing this surface blistering sort of thing, doing some reading about it, and people saying like, yeah, you just gotta dry it. Pet G, you just gotta dry it out. Actually, this one, um, yeah, this one's, considerably worse now i've had them be much much worse even separating so i'm doing some experiments with uh, some testing with lower temperatures uh but someone just saying you got to dry it out so i went and got i'll put it here this the Comgro Comgro filament dryer pretty cheap on amazon link in the description below if you buy it i get a little commish uh, but i put my pet g in there and ran it for about 10 hours before starting the second test of print and it came out much better much better. So I think I'll probably put some fresh desiccant in there and just start running all my pet G prints with that dried out filament because, you know, it's kind of hard to dial this in, but I want pet G for this uh, piece, especially because a, a, uh, it's for a crypto miner sits on top of this and I really need the heat resistance. I really don't want it to warp. I want the added heat resistance of the pet G. So those come out good. Also added this product to the Etsy yesterday. It is a stand wall mount for Orbi routers or Orbi satellites. Very simple to design. Just threw it up there, put it in a combo pack because typically when you buy mesh Wi-Fi's, it comes with two or three, uh, a router and two satellites and you can add satellites. And it's really good to have Orbi's not behind walls or doors for maximum signal. So this is a nice little touch for anyone looking for that. And then today, I think I might try to add, this is a coffee ground tray for a Breville Barista Express espresso machine. So I might add that to the Etsy today as well. Overall, pretty good progress, I feel. Um, really like this Bamboo A1. I really want a larger format printer, something like in the 400 millimeter or above range, something that kind of competes with the Prusa XL um, that can handle multicolor prints because that's really what I'm, uh, really what I'm about. I, I, I kind of want to have stuff, stuff that I can print in color, pull it off the printer, put it in a box and ship it. No painting, 
no heat inserts, no post-production, nothing like that. The name of the game is scalability. Again, this is not an art project for me. This is a, uh, this is a function of profit and in manufacturing. And so I'd much prefer things like this because if I did have to paint this, it would cost three times as much because I don't have the patience to do that kind of thing. I'm not an artist. Um, I like machines. So that's where we are with things. A lot of updates. Going to keep looking forward to uh, the scalability thing. We'll probably have some decisions this week. Again, thinking I'm just going to kind of go it alone here for the short term until I can prove the concept uh, that it works. Had a couple orders come through over the weekend, so appreciate that. Thanks to anyone who ordered. And uh, we'll take a look at it, and I'll chronicle the process moving forward. Appreciate you stopping by. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Press like on the video. Help me get suggested in the algorithm. Subscribe for more content like this. I'm The Technicals. See you next time.